Welcome to my first Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a true first person camera and right after the intro I will start with the tutorial. Mm, I lied to you because before we start I want to show you the statistic that 84% of the people who are watching my videos have not subscribed to the channel. So I would be really happy if you subscribe now and it would help me a lot. And now we can start. For this tutorial, I'm using the default third person template. First, go to the third person folder and then to blueprints and open our character. So here, click on class defaults and in the details window, search for your. Yo, yo, yo. So here in the use controller rotation your, yo, yo, yo. want to have this set on true. Because if that is untrue, that means that our character is always facing to the direction we're currently looking at, uh, but only on the z-axis. So now, next step is going to the character movement component, click on that, and search here for orient rotation to movement, and that is by default untrue, and we want to have this on false, because if it is untrue, that means that the character is always... Uh, turning to the direction we are moving. So if we press, for example, A or D, then the character mesh will also uh, rotate to the left or right. But since our character is always facing to the front or where we're looking at, uh, we don't want to have this on true. So make sure this on false. The next step is going to the viewport. And here we've all already the third person camera. So we can just use this camera for first person. So just drag and drop this camera onto the mesh. I will just rename it really quick to FP camera. And we can delete the camera boom. So now if the camera is attached to the mesh, so it's a child of the mesh here, we can here select the camera and then the parent socket search for hat. Click on that. I see the camera moved to this location here, but we can just set it here on 0, 0, 0. And on the rotation, we can set it to minus 90 on the x-axis and on plus 90 on the z-axis, like so. And now we can also move the camera a bit to the front because now it's like in inside of the hat so we want to move it a bit to the front to do that just go here uh, to the y-axis and let's just set it to 10 for example and we can also move it here on the x-axis if we set it on 5 it will also move a bit upwards so now last step we need to Click on the camera and here, use pawn control rotation. We need to enable that. So that means we can look around. So here, now create a new editor window to test it. Now we'll see, it should look like this and work. Um, we can also run against the wall, looks fine. But now if we run against the wall and jump and you see the camera will clip through the wall that's not so nice that's because in the jumping animation the head of the character is leaning a bit to the front and if we're close to the wall then the camera will clip through it so how can we fix it there are actually two solutions uh, one solution would be to just increase the radius even more of the capsule component but it's our it's already really big so it's not so nice to to increase it here much we can also move the camera uh, the character mesh a bit backwards we shouldn't do that too much but we can do it a bit like moving it for example minus 12 units to the back so now just try it again so now let's run a bit around and let Still looks good and now just try to go to the wall and jump and you see the camera doesn't clip through the wall so that's fine 
Um, but let's go back here to the viewport. Um, so we have now selected the female Quinn mesh, but we can also select the many mesh. Now it's a bit different. So if you play now, it looks also nice. We can run here against the wall. It looks good. But if we look down downwards, then you see that the camera is a bit clipping through their own body. And for that, we need some other values. I've always also prepared some values for that. Um, for that, we can move the money character mesh now even more one unit to the back, so minus 13. And now I'm clicking on the camera and we can move that to one unit down, so from five to four. And on the this uh, Y axis, we can move it two units to the front, so to 12. So let's just compile it again and try it out. So now if we look down, you see it looks fine. And if we run against the wall and jump, you see the camera doesn't clip through it anymore. And yeah, maybe this example also shows you that different meshes or animations need different values. So you might need to trigger around there a bit. And yeah, I really hope I was able to help you with this tutorial. If so, I would be really happy if you subscribe and leave a like and then see you in the next tutorial.